Today's video is a how to set up my list and ticker tape. So let's get started. First, let's talk about the my list feature. My list is set up so you have shortcuts to different options in the transmitter. Instead of pushing enter and scrolling through this menu, you can have selected favorites. So the way you do that is go down to function bar and click on my list setup. Then you fill in the slots with the different menus that you want. For example, push enter on the first one, scroll down to empty under option, and we can change this one to, let's say dual rate and expo. Which I think that's a good one because if you fly your plane and you decide you want to adjust the throws a little bit or your expo, that's an important screen to have. So I like having quick access to that menu. So we'll push enter. Go to back. Now that's the first options on our menu. Let's put in flap system. mixing so now that we have a couple in there we can understand how these work so you have dual rate and expo flap system mixing and you can put in 10 total menus that you can put on the my list put them in any order that you want or any menu that you want that's totally up to you those three right there are the three I'm gonna go with we'll back up we'll push our back button and go to the main menu and how this works is you have a function bar at the bottom. So you push the function button on the left and it will bring up the menu items we talked about. Dual rate and expo, flap system, and mixing. Let's say we flew our plane and we need to adjust some flaps. Push enter on flap system. You're automatically back in the flaps. And then you can back up. So that's how the function bar works. Fairly simple, you just go to the My List, put in the menus that you want, and then it allows you to scroll at the bottom to quick access those menus. You can go back in, and you can edit this list as you want to. You can push enter on one that we've already used, for example, the flap system. So let's go in here, let's change that to timer. And then now we want to add flap system further down. You know, you can customize this menu any way that you want, put them in order how you prefer, or add and delete menus, you know, as you see which ones are more important and which ones you don't use as much. Now let's look at the ticker tape setup. Ticker tape allows sensors that you programmed into the transmitter on the next menu to scroll across the bottom so that you can get a glimpse of readouts for the different sensors and you don't actually have to go into the menu it will just do a continuous scroll so we'll go to ticker tape setup you see we don't have anything programmed yet push enter and then we select the sensor that we want so let's put a couple in there let's go with rpm go back let's go with volts go with amps and then I'm gonna put temperature in here you will notice at the bottom of all these settings it has a duration that's how long you want that sensor readout to be on the bottom of the screen so if you've got each one of them set to one second you will see the first sensor which is the RPMs then you'll see the volts, then you'll see the current, and then the temp. They'll stay at the bottom for one second. So now we have four different sensors set up. When we back out to the main menu, you notice it doesn't say function bar at the bottom anymore. It's programmed to set up for the different sensors to scroll across. I don't have a sensor receiver to show you right now, but the way that you do know that's set up for when you do have the receiver is you don't see function bar at the bottom anymore. I hope y'all found this video informative. If you did or learned something new, go ahead and push the like button. While you're here, subscribe to the channel to see future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all on the next one.